Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel English Literature and today we are with Macbeth scene 8. This is the last scene of Macbeth and with this we end our study of Macbeth. I try to explain line by line but even if then something goes amiss you must inform me. Okay let's meet Macbeth's death. Macbeth and Macduff finally met together. Macbeth, why should I play the Roman fool and die on mine own sword? So there is a reference to Roman generals. They are Antony, Brutus, Cassius. Actually they d uh, choose suicide they choose suicide on their own sword. If you read Antony and Cleopatra then you will find that Antony actually kill uh, himself by his own sword. But Macbeth is not going to play the Roman fool. He is not, not going to um, prefer suicide. Rather he prefers whilst I see leaves the gases do better upon them. I will see sorry I see lives the gases do better upon them. What does it mean? That I prefer living and then I, I I just want to fight and strike as much blow as I can on my enemy soldier. So Macbeth prefers Macbeth prefers fighting over suicide. So this is the character this is the actual character of Macbeth. He is a true warrior. Now enter Macduff. Turn hellbound turn. So turn towards me, you dog from hell, you turn towards me. Macbeth, of all men else I have avoided thee. Of all the other men I have avoiding you, don't come near me, I am avoiding you. But get thee back, but again you are back. My soul is too much charged with blood of thine already. Already I am overburdened, charged. I am already charged, means burdened. I am already burdened with your blood, means guilt of killing your family. So I am already too much blood from Macduff's family, wife, children. So there is too much blood on your part, so I don't want to again fight with you and kill you. But why Macbeth actually needs to kill Macduff, but he just killed the innocent um, innocent people, the children, the wife and that was Macbeth's most horrendous crime I think. Macduff, unnecessary crime that was. I have no words, I don't want to, I have don't come here to just waste my time with speaking. My voice is my sword, the bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. So I am not here to speak, you are a villain and I cannot describe you in my words. The fight. Thou losest labor. So Macbeth is telling thou losest labor means you are wasting. You are wasting your effort. Energy. You are wasting your energy. Macbeth is still believing in the pro prophecy of the witches. And easy makes thou the entrenched air. Entrenched air. Entrenched air means invulnerable. That is, you are just uh, wasting your time and it will be uh, as difficult for you to hurt me as you to make an impression with your sharp sword upon the invulnerable air. So I am invulnerable. You cannot vanquish me. Invanquishable. You cannot. You cannot vanquish me. I am invulnerable like intransigent air. So if you fight with intransigent air and you fight with me, both are same. With thy keen sword, if you with thy sharp sword fight with that intransigent air with me, and they both are same. Impress me as me blade. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crest. Just go and fight with the vulnerable crest, means vulnerable heads. Those who are going to be killed by you. I bear a charm life. So in this word we feel pity for him and how full he is. 
I bear a charm life. My life is protected. Macbeth wants to mean that my life is protected by a magic spell. You cannot kill me. Just go and let your sword attack those heads which you can kill. You can conquer. But I am the intrenchant here. Which must not yield to one of women born. No one can kill me because only a man who was not born of a woman can kill me and it is not possible. Now Macduff is disclosing the truth. Despair thy charm. Go to hell. Just cards fall in your charm. Your charm is no more going to work here. And let the angel whom thou shall hast serve. Who is the angel? The angel is actually the devil. The angel is actually refers to the evil angel. Not the angel in that sense. The evil angel. The witches. The witches whom you prefer. Just go to hell. With whom thou shalt serve. Whom you serve. Tell thee. Magdap was from his mother's womb. Untimely ripped. So Magdap is a caesarean baby. Magdap was not born of a woman. In the normal sense. Because he was taken prematurely. From his mother's womb. So Magdap was taken prematurely from his mother's womb by means of surgical operation. Macbeth Accursed with that tongue that tells me so. Now Macbeth's hoof collapsed. Accursed, just cards fall on that tongue that tells me such word. For it hath cowed my better part of man. You are telling this thing and it is cursing. Cowed means it crushed, it destroyed my better half, my spirit. What you are telling, actually Macbeth was living on the prophecies. Macbeth was not living on his own valor. But Macbeth was actually living on those prophecies by the witches. And when one after another, the prophecies are proving false, Macbeth's better half, Macbeth's spirit is going to be crushed. Because Macbeth was not dependent on his own spirit. Macbeth has given up his soul to the witches. And Macbeth's life is totally dependent on the witches' prophecy. And be these juggling friends. Juggling friends are witches who have been playing tricks. Juggling. Juggle is a kind of trick. Play trick. So this refers to the witches. Who have been playing tricks. So juggling friends refers to the witches who have been playing tricks. No more believe. So I cannot believe them. And there is no time to believe more. The palter with us with a double sense. That palter with us with a double sense. Palter means equivocate. Again that porter who was talking about equivocation. That palter with us with a double sense. They are talking with a double sense. Equivocation. That keep the word. A promise to our ear. So they just keep the word of promise to our ear and break it to our hope. I, it is again re, re, echoing Banco's warning that they will tell you some truth and then they will fail. Then you will fall into that trap. I will not fight with thee. I am not going to fight with thee. So I am going to die. You are not born out of woman. So you are prematurely taken. So in that sense, I am not going to fight because I am going to die. So I will not fight. fight. Now Macduff is saying, then yield the coward. Okay, if you don't uh, fight, then surrender. You coward and live to the show. I will show you just as a specimen, a gauge of the time. I shall spare your life and use as an uh, in exhibition. I will exhibit you. We will have thee as our rare monster, sir. Painted on a pole and under it, here may you see the tyrant. So, Macduff is saying, okay, you don't have to fight. Then I will go in. To just post you in a pole and uh, just show you as a specimen of monster. Specimen, show you as a specimen of monster in the form of human. 
and in that under the pole it will be written that here you can see the tyrant Macbeth do you uh, remember something can you remember if you have go through my video on Antonin Cleopatra then you will feel that the same was the fear of Cleopatra so Macbeth is saying I will not yell now when Macbeth find that it will be more humiliating than death more humiliating than death so Macduff's word provoke now Macduff's word provoke Macbeth to fight I will not yell and now Cleopatra do you remember Cleopatra Cleopatra there was a uh, when Antony died and it was planned by Octavius Caesar that Cleopatra will be taken to Rome and there Cleopatra will be just uh, uh, projected as a showcase projected as something specimen and when Cleopatra come to uh, know this he just kill herself by the serpent so Macbeth also declined that and to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet. I am not going to surrender. I am not going to kiss the feet of young Malcolm and to bait it with the ravel skirts. And I am not going to be um, just baited means attacked mercilessly by the rabel. Rabel means crowd, common people, mob. That is to be too much humiliating for me. I am not going to fit the kiss, um, kiss the feet of young Malcolm and not be tormented or assailed by the crowd of people. Though Bidna mood be come to dance in an and thou opposed being no woman born, yet I shall try the last. Now this is Macbeth. Till now Macbeth was uh, based on the prophecies of the witches and now Macbeth is living the prophecies because all the prophecies prove false and now Macbeth is going to fight on his own. No longer I am uh, believing in those that Binda Mood has come to dance in and you are not woman born so I will try the last the last means the last refers to my own self own spirit I will fight with my own spirit final test of my fit before my body I throw my word like soul word like silk sorry I am going to uh, wear my warrior silk lay on Macduff and damned be him that that first cry is hold enough okay now we are going to fight and he be damned who first shouts that is enough now stop the combat so this is the spirit of macbeth actual spirit of macbeth who is devoid of any prophecies so macbeth is going to fight and this fight is actually happen off stage this battle this fight is off stage now in some book or some uh, Edison, you will find that there is a sin division that is often it is termed as uh, sin 9 from this part but we usually find that it is in sin, included in sin 8 actually. Retreat flourish enter the drum and colors Malcolm sewer draws. Malcolm I would be I would the friends we may as well safe arrived. I would means I wish. I wish that all my friends uh, must be arrived safely. Some must go up and yet by this I see so great a day as it cheaply bought. Great irony. And it is spoken by Seward. In Seward's mouth, Shakespeare used this word. So must go off. Some must, sorry, some must go off. Some people has died. And yet by this I see but till now I am judging by all those who are present here. I must say that it is a great victory and we achieved it it's very cheaply bought. Means very easily without losing very easily without losing too many people so on our part uh, we, we have not lose to, lost too many people we, it, this is very cheaply bought Seward is still unaware of the fact that his own son that his own son is dead at the hand of Magda so, though this uh, war is cheaply bought, it is not for Seward. It is not for Seward. He has lost his own son. Malcolm, Macduff is missing and your noble son. So, Macduff is now still not present and your noble son is not present. Ross, now Ross just disclosed the truth. 
Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. So very soon, she will learn that he has lost his son. After saying this word, he only lived, but till he was a man. Your son, my lord, has died a soldier's death, fighting bravely. He lived only as long as he could fight bravely, like a man. The which no sooner had he, his prowess confirmed. Prowess means his bravery, valor. His bravery confirmed. The unsinking station. Unsinking station means without flinching. He fight without flinching, bravely fought. He never retreat. His manliness, he gallantly fight. He never retreat from it. He never flinch. Never retreat. But like a man, he died. He died like a man. So this line may be quote: "Who died like a man?" But like a man, who is referred to here? Young sir, there are so many important line from her short question can come. So you have to remember very well line by line. You have to read. See what? Then he is dead. Now he is shocked. He is dead. Thus, ah, and brought of the field, you cause of sorrow must not be measured by his words, for then it hath no end. Yes, he is dead, but his dead body has been brought away from the battlefield. The degree of your grief should not be proportionate to the worth of the dead man, because in that case your grief will have no end. Okay. Brought off, brought off means brought away from the field, from the battlefield, and and his worth is immeasurable. Had he had he his hearts before, do his wounds appear in the front? Before means front part. that he is wounded in the front or back yes ah on the front yes on the front his wounds appear on the front part why then god soldier be he that what does it mean this means that young he was not retreating he was not fleeing from the battlefield if he was fleeing from the battlefield in that direction then the wounds will be at his back okay then the wounds will be at his back but his wounds is at the front part that means he was fighting face to face that he was fighting face to face so seward why then god soldier be he so he is god soldier had i as many sons i have hairs so he is that i have so many hair so if i have son Like so many hairs upon my body, I would not wish them a fair death. I will could not have wished a better death for them. This is the best death of a soldier who has died face to face, fighting face to face. He has died fighting face to face. So it is the best death for a soldier. And so his nail is gnarled. And so nail means death bell. His death bell is rung. Death bell of this son of mine is already rung. Malcolm, he is worth more sorrow. Hmm. Malcolm means your son deserve greater mourning. Your son deserve greater mourning. And I that I'll spend for him, and I shall just arranging ceremony for him. I am going to arrange ceremonial mourning. in his honor but for a father there is no value of no need of ceremonial mourning for a father who has lost his son this is the grief is cannot be compensated see what he is worth no more he deserve no more he they say he parted well and paid his scores he is already got what he deserve and so god be with him here comes newer comfort Here comes some fresh comfort. I Means some news is coming. So Macduff now enters with Macbeth's head. So the drama is going to close now. Macbeth is dead, and Macduff has come here, cutting his head and taking it on a platter to Malcolm, to gift Malcolm. 
Magda fell king, for so thou art, behold, where stands the usurper's cursed head. This head refers to Macbeth's head. The time is free. See King Malcolm, I greet you. And I, here I have come with um, Macbeth said, "The time is free." Means now we are free. Now the people of Scotland is free. I see the compassed with my kingdom's pearl. I people are free, and I can see you surrounded by the jewels of Scotland, kingdom's pearl, jewels. So entered Macduff with King Said, and he is declaring his hailing Malcolm as the King of Scotland, who is just surrounded by the jewels. That speak my salutation in their minds, and now we are uh, repeating our minds. We are saluting. We are greeting you. Whose voices I desire aloud with mine, and with those voices, with the voices of the other people, other things, other lords, my voice is also joined. Then, hail, King of Scotland. <clears throat> so, actually, Macduff take Macbeth's head, hung up on a pole, and he enters, not on a platter. All hail, King of Scotland, Flaris Malcolm. It is Malcolm's last speech to all his countrymen. Malcolm is the new King of Scotland. Macbeth is dead, and he is welcoming. This is the play ends with this welcoming speech of Malcolm. We shall not spend a large expense of time. We shall not spend too much time before we reckon with your several loves. Before we rewarding you for your services. Loves several loves means your services, and make us even with you. My thanes and kinsmen, henceforth be ours. The first that ever Scotland. In such an honor named, so he is actually thanking all the thanes and relatives and lords who help him in the fight. What's more to do? We should be planted newly with the time. So with time, we will again um, plan something new um, for our homeland, as calling home our exiled friends abroad. And our exiled friend who have fled in the fear of Macbeth, they must come back here. They fled. That fled the snares. Snares means trap. Of watchful tyranny. So during Macbeth's time, they just um, watchful means vigilant. So to avoid Macbeth's vigilant tyranny, uh, to escape the trap, they fled. But they now will come back from their hiding places, producing for the cruel ministers of the dead butcher. Dead butcher. Who is dead butcher? Macbeth. Just keep in mind this short information. Dead butcher is Macbeth, friend like queen. Who is the friend like queen? Lady Macbeth. The queen is like the devil, and devil is queen. Friend like queen means devil is queen. Who, as it is thought, as it is believed, by self and violent hands took off her life. So we were not uh, sure about how Lady Macbeth died, but here Malcolm gives us this information that Lady Macbeth has killed. Herself, suicide. She has killed herself by her own violent hands. Took off her life. These and who are needful ills that calls upon us. Means which demands that calls upon us means demands our attention. By the grace of God, we will perform in measure, time, and place. By the grace of God, we will accomplish with God's self. Appro with uh, appropriate time and place, something new for our land. So actually, he is promising uh, words. These are all his promising words for his um, homeland. Thanks to all at once to each one whom we invite to see our crown at Scone. So again, we find they are going to Scone for the coronation. In the time of Macbeth's coronation, Macduff did not join Scone. Do you remember? Macduff did not join Scone. And now everyone is going to scorn for the coronation, and with a jovial heart, with the coronation at scorn. Flurries, excellent end of the play. Okay, so finally we can end our play Macbeth, and with order and happiness, everything is restored, and with God's appointed appointed king, who is Malcolm. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर स्टेइंग विथ मी एंड बाय